lads, I have to, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually stop the machine to explain this to you because I just, I can't believe it. Right. I have 80,000 followers on Facebook. I have broken 20,000 on Instagram at the weekend. And there's hundreds of thousands watching my Snapchat. And I got up this morning. Now I'm, st I'm still in shock over this. I got up this morning. I walked outside the door. I could not believe. <sighs> right. There was no 20 inch or 6 allies on my van. I can't. I don't. I don't know how to process this information. I just. I'm at it. The cowboys are at it. And to think, today started out as such a normal day. I got up, you know, for a social media influencer, of course. You know, got up, went into hair and makeup. Because God forbid that people would think you dragged yourself out of bed at half four in the morning to pay your fucking bills. And then that's what I was faced with the non-existence of my 20 inch R6 alleys. Shocking. It's fucking shocking. You know, I'm actually nearly finished here. I'm gonna have to ring Gar and say, hey Gar, I know you worked until four o'clock in the morning and I timed the whole shit wrong, but you're gonna have to fire up to 75.30 and get the fuck over here because Greg needs us. Greg needs us over in the new wood to make da. You know you're going well when you're filling with diesel before the sun breaks over the crest of the mountain. Beautiful. Beautiful. About 15 minutes ago it was nice and sunny and now look, grey and rotten and wet. The fog and mist came bullying out over that mountain. So much for my nice sunny Friday. Jesus. It's nippy enough. Finished the wood, loaded up the tanks. I think Garrett's only getting out of bed now so. I'm gonna go meet Greg for lunch and I might drive the harvester for the evening, I don't know. I don't know. I won't panic too much anyway. There's my toilet paper. Always have emergency toilet paper. Now I prefer baby wipes, but always be ready for any eventuality. Because you never know when your arse might decide it's time, it's time for a five ounce shy. Back in tenants. Oh god. I wish I was having a day like all the lads driving from Maguire. They're flat out drawing line to all the Illuminati members. I mean the IFA members in Tullamore. And seemingly every time they go into the yard, they're pegging them tips. 50 euro here, 60 euro there. And lads are, no, no, we're getting paid anyway. And they go, no, no, take it. We're getting it for nothing anyway. Aren't they? Yeah. Greg ate me this morning. Oh, God. He's on me like a dog. He goes, Oh, good morning, David. How are you? I says, Grand. What fucking time are you going to be finished, dickhead? I need an exact time. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> he did. He did. Well, I'll tell you what happened. Go on. He rang me. He said, I nearly finished my story with Gareth. I was like, how close to finish? I don't really know. I didn't. I don't know, David. How long? Uh, uh, fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm finished now. You're an asshole. Finished now, that's all that matters. It wasn't even a week. I don't care. You ring it out. I'm not, we won't. nearly no. finished and then not know how long. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> Never have the man that's on the hour, i.e. me, pricking around waiting for machines to be moved. They always have me working. Why are you up to work? Oh, I, can, I can feel the money just banging through the head. It's an awful pity it's banging into Greg's pockets and not mine. 
Awful shame. Awful shame. 